Here, we have a map that shows PM2.5 values in the United States between 1998 and 2016. PM2.5 is particulate matter that is 2.5 micrograms or less in diameter and is an indicator of overall air quality. This map shows us the 19-year average of PM2.5 at many different geography levels. By default, we see counties, and if we zoom out, we see states, and as we zoom in, we see the pattern by congressional districts all the way down to 50 kilometer hex bins. At the national level, we can immediately see which areas have better or worse air quality. The colors on this map help us investigate if an area is meeting the World Health Organization guideline of 10 micrograms per cubic meter annually. Since PM2.5 is commonly linked to cardiovascular and respiratory issues, it's in everyone's best interest to improve their air quality over time and meet this target. If I click on an area that's not meeting the target, which we see in orange, I can see that the PM2.5 values are definitely above the guideline of 10. But I can see that there was an overall improvement in air quality over time in this area, which is great. The chart even shows us that the values have been cut almost in half over the last 19 years. If we zoom to the Northeast, where there are a great deal of large cities, we can see that overall, most areas have a 19 year average that's not too far above the target of 10. And again, the chart tells us that many of these areas have actually improved to meet the goal of 10 micrograms per cubic meter in the more recent years. We also see other patterns that make sense to us, such as lower averages in this area, which is where the Appalachian Mountains are. So there's fewer people living here, and so this pattern actually makes sense. As we move closer to the region commonly known as the Rust Belt, where there's traditionally more manufacturing, we see overall higher values. But again, as we've seen in most places, the overall trend is going down. So this map has ultimately shown us areas that are doing better and worse for air quality, but that in most places, there's an overall decrease in PM2.5 over time. To add additional context to this map, let's explore a different map that shows us where these air quality patterns exist nationally. This map shows us a hotspot analysis of PM2.5 over the 19 years which measures the intensity of clusters through each time step by using the values of the neighboring hex bins as context in the analysis. 50 kilometer hex bins provide us the most accurate results because their centroids are evenly spaced. So this national pattern helps us better understand where values are generally higher or generally lower over the 19 years using statistical analyses. If we explore a darker red area, we see that this, this is a diminishing hotspot, meaning that in general, this area has high PM2.5 values, but that the values are decreasing st statistically significantly over time, which the chart actually confirms. If we look at an area that's a diminishing cold spot, we see the opposite pattern. In general, this area has lower PM2.5 values overall, but in the recent years has seen a jump in PM2.5. So this is a diminishing cold spot. The two maps we just looked at unlock just a few patterns hidden in this data, but there are so many more to find. Happy exploring!